Hello friends, as promised we are back with a new series. In this series we are going to learn about Flutter and Node.js by making complete e-commerce grocery app series. This is our application which is built using Flutter and the backend API is in Node.js. So this is the home screen of that application and here we have the slider. Then we have all the categories here which are coming with the icon and then we have that category name. And here we are getting all the top 10 product here and here we are getting the product image product name, product price and then we have that add to favorite icon also. And then here we have the cart icon, my cart, and then we have the favorite icon, then we have our my account and when we log into the application and then we are able to get all that content over here. So here if I click on any of that category and all the product of that category will be loaded here. Here you can see we are getting four product for this category and if I click on any of that product here it will open that product detail page then here I have the slider for the, all the images. Then here we have the product name then we have the price here and here we have that share button to share the product here. Then we have the availability here it's showing here in stock. Then we have the product code here then we have our add to cart. Then here we have our short description then we have that description full description here then we have the related product of this category that will be shown here and here if i click on the add to cart it will give us the message please log in before add to cart because we have to log into the application first so for that we have to go to our login page and here we have to go to our my cart and here if i click on the login so this is our login page and here we can log into the application and also if we don't have any account we can click on the sign up it will show us that register page here and here we can register the application if i click on that register it will show all the validation also so i have already registered to the application so now let's log into the application So here it is giving the message of login successful. So now you can see here in the my account we are getting here orders, edit profile, sign out and here in the my card. So it is showing here cart empty. So now let's add some product. So now let's click on this product from here I, if I click on the add to cart. So now let's see in the my card if that product is added or not. So here that product has been added to the cart and here you can see we are getting here my cart then we have that cart icon here here it is showing all the count here then in the cart details we are getting here product image product name product price then we have the quantity stepper and here from here we can increase the quantity and we can decrease the quantity then here we have the delete button also we have the update button to update the quantities then here we are showing that subtotal then we are showing here total amount then here we have the checkout button so we can also add one more product here. So here if I click on this product and now let's add to the cart. Here if I go to the my cart. So now you can see here we are getting two products here. So now if I click on the checkout. You can see here we are getting the billing address and if I click on this billing address. It will give us that edit profile screen and we can edit the detail of that user address and all. Here you can see we are getting first name, last name, address, apartment, country, state, city, pin code and we are getting the update button. Here we are getting your order and here you can see we are getting here cart items, image of that product then we are getting the product name, price then we are getting here quantity. Here we have our subtotal, total and here we are getting the option for the payment. Here we are going to integrate PayPal, Stripe and cash on delivery feature in our application. So now if I click on that COD and if I click on the pay now, we are getting a loader here and this will going to add the data in our database. Here you can see here your order has been successfully submitted. So now if I click on the done, it will move us to the dashboard page. Also we have that feature for the favorites. So here we are getting no favorite data. So if I click on any of that favorite icon, from here I will add the products here, I will add this one. Then here I will add one more product here. So now if I go to that favorite tab, you can see here we are getting two products here. If I remove any of that product from here, it will remove the product and in the dashboard, it will only show one product selected. You can see here we are getting only one product because here we have only one product. So now if I go to our my account tab, here we have the orders here, then we have the profile, edit profile, then we have the sign out option. If I go to the orders, here you can see we are getting all the orders, order ID, then we have the order date. If I click on an order details and here we are getting the product details, 
delivered to and this data we have not added that's why it's not coming here we have the payment method cod then we have that status of the product processing shipping deliver then we have all that product which are in our order then we have our item total shipping charges then we have the paid amount then we have the edit profile here from here user can update their profile then we have our sign out button and from here user can sign out to the application after clicking on it it will give us that message you must sign in to access this section from here we can click on the login and here the same process will open so in this series we are going to use node.js then we are going to use the flutter application and in the node.js we are going to use the full backend api development and in the flutter application we are going to develop this application for the ios and that android so that is the requirement to learn from this series and you must so i would request everyone to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribe to the channel and also if you are subscribed to the channel must turn on that notification icon so that you can get all the notification of the upcoming videos and this series is going to be very good series because there is a lot of learning in this series because we are going to learn the backend plus we are going to learn our front end application so i hope you like this demo video from the next week we are going to upload the video of this series so stay tuned guys don't forget to subscribe to channel like comment share so this will be the real motivation for me if you like the video if you comment on the video and share our work with the others thank you for watching the video